happen. I flip a coin, it's either heads or it's tail. tail. Hey, I wonder if the plane's going to be on time. Well, the plane's either on time or it's late. By no. Right, Kayla? I mean, I can go on and on. Either you're going to live or you're going to die. die. And so there's so many binomial, we call them binomial experiments. I'm going to try to make the ball into the basket. Well, I'll either make it or I'll miss it, right? One of the problems deals with smokers. But they were all smokers in a study. But they looked at whether or not they started smoking before the age of 18. Okay, you either started smoking before the age of 18 or you started smoking after the age of 18. So there's so many binomial experiments. We give one separate section to it, and we come up with a math formula that we can use to calculate probabilities. So what we're going to do is build the formula. So I'll just put it over here. The probability of x equals x, which, I mean, it's on this formula sheet. I want to, you'll see uh, that you have, everyone has a copy of this. We'll, we'll just find out, well, what would be the probability Any event in a binomial probability distribution or binomial experiment. Hey, the first thing I want to talk about with the binomial experiment, if I was trying to put balls into a basket hoop, they call those trials. So you're going to hear this word trials. So that word trials will come up. You'd be like, all right, let's say I get 50 trials. Well, that means I got 50 attempts at the basket. Okay, so this word trials, don't let that word bug you. It's really the sample size. It's like that lowercase n. Sound good? Did you make that x smaller on purpose? I did. It, and I wrote it like this. The reason I wrote it like this, Angela, is because that's how it's written on the formula sheet. But I don't want that to bug anybody. Say when I wrote capital X equals small x, that's the way it's presented in the book, the way it's presented, you know, even on like a, an AP exam. But you can just think, you and I are about to come up with the math formula and build it. Oh, okay. And I just thought, Angela, Rather than just what? Here's the formula. Give it to everyone. It's better when you and I know how a formula merged so we can make sense of it. Sound good? All right, so for our problem, everyone, there's going to be trials. There's going to be a probability given. And then we're going to look, you know, what's the odds of certain success, success occurring? So in this problem, I'm going to say, let's do boys and girls. Let's just say the probability of having a boy is 50% chance. And this is a, a, a couple, everyone, and they are going to have three children. All right. They plan to have three children. So, but they're going to have three children. The probability of a boy is 50%. So what's the probability of having a girl? Good. Compliment rule. There you go. Well, the question I'm going to ask is, they're going to have three children. All right. Should put three kids. This is the number of trials, right? This is the probability. So I just want to point out in this problem that the lowercase n equals 3. That's the number of trials. And in a binomial experiment, these trials do have to be independent events. Do you remember that word? Mm -hmm. All right, don't let it bug you too much, but I guess we can consider and We'll assume they're at least independent events. The P, that's the lowercase p, that's the probability of success. So you've got to love that word success because you go, oh, I guess a failure is having a girl, right? But that's the way we talk in probability and statistics. The probability of the success for this experiment is 50%. And then we're going to get an x value that's going to come up. That depends on the question. So I'm going to ask the question now, and we're going to be able to put the x value here. And here it is. For example, to help us understand this formula, What's the probability they have exactly one boy from the three kids? So one out of three kids, one of them's a boy, that means two of them are what? Girls. Girls. And you and I are going to do this, this example is to help us build this math formula. And you can notice I used a very small number so we can make sense of this. So I'm going to start out. Oh. I get it. One boy and two girls. So I have a boy and girl, girl. have a girl and have a girl. I want to hear me saying and, mm -hmm. so I get to multiply these. And what was the probability of having a boy? One third. Point five, right? One third, yeah. What was the probability of having a girl? 
And remember how you figured that out? You took one and you what? Subtracted that, but you came out to this. And probably having a girl. I multiply these, I'll let you do it. That's 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5. One, two, five. Yeah. Now, this is what's interesting. That's not the answer. And I want you all to think about this. Look at the question, the way it's asked, and you can say, wait, there's other possibilities. So that's why we do want a formula out of this. Because if we did everything the long way, boy, could it get really, really complicated. Read the question carefully. You're like, that's not the answer. There are other ways to have one boy with three kids. I just assumed it was the first kid. Doesn't have to be the first kid, right? What's another scenario? Girl, boy, girl. Girl, girl boy, girl. So everyone, it's either boy, girl, girl. Here comes that word, or. Remember or? That means I have to add another probability. Now, you won't have to compute problems this way. I just want to present this the long way to see how this form would get built. So that would be, uh, you said G, B, B. G. G. Right. Don't worry, we're almost done with this one because I think we're almost done here. I just think there's another one. Bo girl, 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 boy. Oh, you're good. That one, you great? It could be a girl, and they have a girl, and the third kid is a boy. Because boy. look at the word. They just said exactly one boy. They never said it had to be the first kid, right? That's my point. So welcome to a binomial probability experiment or binomial probability distribution, there are sometimes many possibilities. So, oh, girl, and then girl, and then a boy. boy. But I don't want you to get too stressed about what I'm doing here now because I'm doing this to build the math formula, right? That you all are going to use. So what's this add up to? This is the real answer. Okay. So, to do this, there were three possibilities here. These were called combinations. So I mean, how many combinations were there? There were three combinations. Okay. So this math formula has to have a combination portion to it. <laughs> There's going to be a math, a portion of this math formula that calculates the number of combinations possible. In this problem, how many combinations were possible? Three. Yep. How many combinations of having one boy with three kids were saying there are three combinations possible? <coughs> this form is going to have to have that in it. Do you agree? All right. So there's a math formula for that. Now it's called NCX. It's a math combination formula. So I'm going to write it on a board. Some of you may have seen this before. Don't worry if you've never seen this formula before. I'm going to write some symbols on the board. You might look at these symbols and go, I've never seen that before. It'll take me one minute to explain the symbols. So I'm going to write the formula out. Here it is. N factorial over X factorial over N minus X factorial. That's the math combination formula. But I'm going to start this thing right here and put it as my first part to the math formula. I'm going to need that. Okay. I'm not here to stress anybody out, but you see that funny exclamation point? It's called a factorial. So it will only take like a minute to explain factorials. Three factorial, it's called three factorial, is three times two times one. Six. Two factorial is two times one, which is two. One factorial is just one. Uh, what do you think a four factorial would be? 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. You understand factorials. 4 factorial would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. I mean, what the heck would 20 factorial be? That would be a huge number. <laughs> 20 times 19 times, okay, so these are what we call factorials. Anyways, to figure out how many combinations you got possible in the math formula, we do the n factorial, x factorial, n minus x factorial. So and could you do this with me, all this? We should get the answer of what? 3 out of this whole mess. You see this? Mm -hmm. But this is going to be helpful to us, everyone, when someone says, well, what if you got 10 kids and you're going to have four boys? We're like, oh, we can just use this little math formula off the calculator. Cool. So just to make sure this comes out right, does that come out to be a three? 
So let's see. What's three? They write three C one. They call that three choose one. That'd be three factorial over one factorial. One factorial. And then the parentheses? Two factorial. Of oh, three minus one factorial. Three minus one is two. Two factorial. Would you do all that math for me real quick to make sure this comes out to be a three? Is that equal to three? Three factorial is what? Three times two times one. Six. One factorial is one. And two factorial is two. What's six times one? Or six over two? Three. Three. Oh, that's my whole point of this was just to show that this is a key component to this math form. Right? And I'll show you and get off the calculator because no one does this, you know, you're like, do I have to do that by hand the long way? No. There's a button for that. So the three and the one, you got those from the one, four, the three, kids? That's right. Okay. And I want to point out, so there's always like an N, which is the trials. The X will be the, oh, let me put it right here, the one, that being the one boy. And then this is the probability of success. Okay, having a boy is success. But that's the probability of having the one boy. Cool? Well, we get three, but I want the shade key on the calculator. Where is this button? So go to math, and would you error the PRB? And after we do all this, I get it, and then we'll play the Kino game. Hopefully you'll win. Hopefully you'll win. All right, Owen, would you go to math, and then error over to PRB? Does that one see number three? Except rather than NCX, your calculator calls it NCR. NCR. Well, to work this button, I'll show it on the screen. Does anyone see NCR? Let me do it again. Math, PRB, number three, NCR. To work this math, I actually have to hit the number first. So I'm going to hit one, quit. Let me hit clear. I got to hit the three first. Then I hit that button. And then I hit the one. Hey, who's got the new calculators? Do you have one? Oh, oh, but it's yours is better. They just put like a box here, and then the C, and then a box here, and you put the three here and the one there. You get the fill in. So when everyone has like a newer calculator, it's a little cooler because you get to just fill that with the three and that with the one. And they hit it when you hit that button. Cool. So everyone, I'm just curious. This is gonna be funny. I'm just trying some fun here. What if there are ten kids? How many combinations of having four boys? This is going to be huge. What is it? Wow. You see why we never want to work this the long way? Could you imagine you and I trying to figure out 210 combinations? No way. So anyways, that's the concept. And I'm going to put this on the board. This is the remaining part of this formula. It's got the combination component. Got it? But there's got to be a component for these multiplication things. <laughs> So I'm going either a probability success or probably a failure. So for that, it's P raised to the X. And remember, what's the probability of having a girl? One minus what? Complement. The complement uh -huh. raised to the, but remember how this was a one each time? How many G's did you have in there each time? Two. Two. So the math formula would have to be N minus X up here to this power. But there it is. I know. But I thought we'd compute this, and then I'll let you play the Keenan game. Oh, can we do that from left to right? What would be the odds? What should we get for our answer? 0.375. So we should get 0.375. Well, let's see if we get that right now. Here we go. What's the probability of having one boy from three kids? Here we go. 3C1, 0.5 raised to the 1, 1 minus 0.5 raised to the 2. Does that see how I did all that? Mm -hmm. And what should I get for my answer? The 0.375. But Liz, I want to make sure how I did this. That was the boy. That was the girl. This was a 1 because it was that value. This power right here came from subtracting these. But to make sense of this formula, we built it. It's like, why was this 2? Remember how it was like 2 Gs? That was the 2 Gs. This was just the one boy. Cool. So the 1 is not an X. The G7 has 
That's right. The one is the yes. And they always have, they have to give it to you in a question when they ask. Okay. Anyone, anyway, I just wanted to do it real quick, so I'll hit the lights. Just to show you that we should get this point one. 375. So here I go. Watch from left to right. Three, math, C, NCR, one. Then I get to multiply 0.5. If you want, you get a multiplication sign here. 0.5 raised to the one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to multiply parentheses, one minus 0.5. Raised to the two. two. If I do all that, I should get the point three seven five, right? Mm -hmm. uh, hey, uh, before you leave, this only take a minute so you can get out of here. Would you fill out ten numbers? Won't put your name on this. Hey, oh. one, pass it back. Hey, next class, Liz or anybody, if that looked a little bit too long, no worries. Next class, I'm going to show you buttons on your calculator where you just fill in the three numbers. Okay? So when I'm in the next class, I'll show you the fast way to do this. So make sure to come in the next class. Six. Hey, when you get this, just fill out your 10 favorite numbers. Any numbers in part three. But would you put your name on it? There you go. Oh, two more. One more. Will you pass that back? And number three, put your name on it. Just fill out your 10 favorite numbers. One more. You bet. Oh, I got you, got it, got it. You sure? Yeah. Anybody else? Maybe you don't want two tickets? I'll take three. <laughs> hey, what's this for? See, it's on videotape, so you can't say I never said this. Exempt from the final? What else? Drop your loss.